everyone, it's me Sandy and I'm here to bring you my very first nail art tutorial video. I hope to be bringing you videos at least once a week so please subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you can find out when I upload a new video. The polish I'll be using today is Cabin Fever by China Glaze. I really love how duochrome it is. We're going to be starting off with clean dry nails. I've already put on my base coat which was Anchor by Zoya and uh, we're just going to put on two coats of the Cabin Fever. I am going to probably speed that up in a second because I don't want to have this take too long. Plus I was nervous when I was recording and that's not my best polish application. So uh, please forgive how crappy that looks, but we're giving it our best try being that it's our first video. So you can see that I now have my um, two coats of Cabin Fever. So I'm going to go with my top coat. I use Armor by Zoya. I like to put on my top coat before I start stamping because I think it just gives you a much smoother base and therefore a much clearer stamp. So I'm going to be using a stamper from Clear Jelly Stamper as well as stamping plates from them and my stamping polish. I love this stamper because I can see what I'm doing. I look down the barrel and see where I'm putting it. Their stamping plates are so nice too. That's the Floral Swirl number two. And I'm going to put all the links in the description box. I like to give it just a quick clean before I get started, even though I did put it away clean. And I'm also using their stamping polish number one, more like 1AM. That's their black. And it's just a really, really nice pigmented stamping polish. I'm going to give the plate a little scrape at about a 45 degree angle. And I really sorry about the direction I did that in. Like I said, I can't see um, what I'm actually filming because I don't have a screen. I'm going to roll my stamper to pull the image off the um, stamping plate and then I'm just going to press it down onto my nail where I want it. I get a lot of time to look and see where I want to place it but not too much time because that stamping polish dries really quickly. I am using a um, silicone mat underneath my stamper because as you can see I'm a touch messy. Okay more than a touch. I'm a very messy stamper but at least with that silicone mat I can just clean that up right away without any problems. So now I'm going to repeat these same steps as you can see for the rest of the nails on my left hand. I have done my right hand off camera. I um, really enjoy these stamping plates from Clear Jelly Stamper. They are layered stamping plates, although I'm just using a simple swirl right now. The rest of the plate, as you can see, has the um, engraving to do things in either two or three layers, so you can really build up a beautiful stamping image. As you can see, I'm also making a mess, but that's okay. We'll clean that up, that one up off camera, and uh, I will show you how I clean up my nails later on in this video in just actually a couple minutes. The fun part of course is choosing where in that swirl I want to uh, place my stamper. Uh, that's the hardest part for me is deciding which spot to stamp from. Just remember to roll your stamper to get a nice clean image. It doesn't have to be pressed hard on the stamping plate but then just press it nice and hard on your nail. And I did that one much cleaner. Now this one, I'm actually going to let you see me scrape the stamper properly because I'm going to scrape it towards me and away from you. As you can see, it's just a quick swipe. Makes it nice and easy, a quick roll of the stamper. And then again, I can see what I'm doing by just taking a look down. I really should have shown you um, the image on the stamper itself. I'm going to take my cleanup brush here and I just it's one that I got from Sally Beauty and I'm just using a bit of acetone to clean up the uh, stamping that got onto my finger. Of course if you want you can always put a barrier around. I happen to be allergic to latex so barriers for me are just a little bit harder. So now I'm going to just finish it off with Armor by Zoya as my top coat. I'm just going to carefully make sure that I get a bit of top coat on there without moving or smudging the stamping polish. The Clear Jelly Stamper stamping polish does dry quite quickly, but I still like to kind of float a bit of top coat on there and, of course, cap the ends, but float a bit of top coat on there before I start pulling it over just so I don't smudge what I've already done because I would hate to have to start right from scratch. As you can see there I have a bit of cat hair <coughs> on the end of my nail. We have a very fluffy Siamese ragdoll cat and her fur just gets 
everywhere. So I found it easier to pull that off with a tweezer instead of trying to just brush it off with my top coat. So now I'm just going to take my cleanup brush and some pure acetone and finish cleaning up any messy areas that I may have missed previously and just to keep it all nice and clean. And here we have the reveal. I really love how this duochrome polish goes from pink to orange. You can really see it really well. And I think that this scroll stamp turned out, or swirl stamp, turned out really nice and elegant. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe and hit post notifications so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks and have a great day.